Linda Evangelista was boshed from cool sculpting. How does this impact you if you're thinking about getting rid of stubborn areas of fat? I've got the answers for you. Are you thinking about cool sculpting, but Linda Evangelista's story has kind of scared you away from it? Maybe you've got some stubborn fat pockets that diet and exercise just won't treat. Let's start by talking about cool sculpting itself. Cool sculpting is a treatment that has been around for upwards of 10 years. And this really right now is the most popular way to non-surgically reduce fat. Now cool sculpting uses a special applicator that is applied to the skin. It cools the surface of the skin and the underlying fat to such an extent that part of the fat cells will actually crystallize. They will die and your body will clear those fat cells by normal mechanisms. Essentially, you poop it out. Studies show that you can reduce the thickness of fat by upwards of 20 to 25% after just one or two cool sculpting sessions. But like every medical procedure, there are risks that come with it. And that's where Linda Evangelista comes in. Now, if you don't know a lot about Linda, uh, when I grew up in the 80s and 90s, Linda Evangelista was one of the most popular supermodels back then. Now, according to People Magazine, she underwent seven sessions of cool sculpting between August of 2015 to February of 2016. And unfortunately, instead of losing fat in those areas, the fat in those areas actually grew. Now, this is actually a well-known complication of cool sculpting called paradoxical adipose hyperplasia, or PAH. Simply put, instead of fat getting reduced in those areas that you have cool sculpting, the fat cells actually grow. Now, this was first described back in 2015 where case reports started coming out, and it does appear to affect anywhere from 1 in 100 patients to 1 in 1,000 patients. The only known effective solution for PAH is liposuction. And this is tough because people go in to have cool sculpting, they want to get rid of fat, and then the fat gets thicker afterwards. I mean, how distressing could that be? And on top of that, then the only way to treat that is to undergo surgery, which you had cool sculpting first to try to avoid surgery in the first place. Now, I have recently seen two patients who've had PAH after cool sculpting, one who had it in her double chin area and another throughout her whole abdomen. I brought both of these patients back for surgery to liposuction them. And the interesting thing is usually when we liposuction fat, it comes out in a bright yellow color. The fat that I liposuctioned in these patients who had PAH was kind of a darker yellow. Now in Linda's case, it sounds like she underwent numerous sessions of liposuction afterwards. And I'll tell you, seven sessions of cool sculpting, that is a lot. And it sounds like she had it done all around her body. I really feel for her. The patients that I saw literally each had just one session of cool sculpting, and the amount of fat that they developed through that PAH was really impressive. So I could imagine that in Linda's case, after having seven sessions of cool sculpting all over her body, that this could definitely be quite deforming and very, very upsetting to her. So that being said, so many of us have fat pockets that we want to get rid of, and the thought of undergoing a completely non-invasive surgery to reduce them, it's pretty appealing. But what do I now recommend as a holistic plastic surgeon? Well, several years ago when I was in the market to get a fat reducing device, I did look at cool sculpting. And honestly, one of the reasons why I did not buy that device was because of my concern with PAH. And so there are other devices on the market now that have very similar results as cool sculpting, but they don't come with the risk of PAH. The one that we have in my office is called Sculpture. Instead of freezing the fat, Sculpture uses a laser to heat the fat cells up to a certain temperature to where those fat cells die. And like with cool sculpting, your body gets rid of those fat cells by natural processes. So overall, I wouldn't necessarily be worried if you undergo cool sculpting that you're gonna get PAH. It is a pretty rare phenomenon, but if you do get cool sculpting, I do recommend that you have it done at the office of a board certified plastic surgeon or a dermatologist. That way, if you do develop that PAH, then they would be in a good position to help treat you for it. Otherwise, looking at other non-invasive fat reducing treatments like Sculpture, to me, makes a lot of sense. I honestly wouldn't say that she was Bosch because this can happen with the best physician and in the best circumstances. But there are some patients who truly are Boshed. Take a peek at the videos right up here where I react to episodes of Boshed. And if you've been enjoying my videos, please subscribe to this channel and always remember, eat real food, use clean skincare, and only consider actual plastic surgery as a last resort.